What is going on guys? If this is your first time on this channel, my name is Brian Lewis and I put out car vlogs weekly. Whether it's unboxings, installations, car vlogs, meets, uh, drift events, I do all kinds of different stuff that is car related. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to attempt to fix the cruise control on my 2002 Honda Accord. Alright guys, so first things first, I'm going to try to replace the cruise control switch itself. Now I bought these off eBay and for some reason the guy sent me two. Maybe one of them works, maybe one of them doesn't. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, maybe he got confused and just sent both of them to be safe. But anyways, I've researched online and it can be either the brake switch or the cruise switch. Now my cruise switch does not illuminate and my brake switch seems to be working as it should. It seems to be releasing the tab like it should because if it's not releasing all the way out, even if it's releasing 99% they said and it's only in there about a percent, it's not going to allow the cruise to engage. So we're going to start with this switch. Uh, the camera angle is going to be really bad so I'm going to try to get it the best I can but let's get started. Alright guys. From what I've seen online, take this tray out, just pull straight out. I hope it's a good angle. Probably a little bit of a bad angle, but two screws back in here behind this door <clears throat> and after the second screw is out this just pulls out. Then I hook it. The cruise is the middle one. I'm just going to come behind here, push these tabs. And out it comes. Yeah, that one didn't do it. So maybe I'm going to have to replace the brake switch after all. Oh, there's a good one. Never mind. Yeah, the guy I bought this off of off of eBay, he sent me two and I was wondering why. So I'm taking it he didn't know which one was good. So... There's the good one. All right, guys, to install your other one, like I said, to get the old one out, you just push down here and here, and pull it straight out of here. To install the new one, you just set it in there, just like that. And then you plug these connectors back up, slide this back in, and uh, I'll try to see if I can get a good angle of it. All 
All right, again, here's where the cruise button is. Right under here is where these two screws are that you take out, and they're right there. So I'm gonna throw them back in right now. And the cruise does still work, so awesome. All right, guys, there's the finished product. All right, guys, for those of you that have been subscribed to the channel for a while now, you know that I'm excited to have cruise control in this car because I drive a 130 mile round trip to work all on the highway. Thank you all so much for watching. If this is your first video you've watched of mine, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, I really hope this helps some of you all out. Like I said, the research I did online showed either the brake switch or the cruise switch. So in my case, the cruise switch worked for me. I will see you all next time. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you don't care, please visit the website www.kseriespros.com and www.subipros.com. If you all have Instagram, follow me at One Jiu Jitsu Panda. Thank you all so much for watching, and please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thanks, guys.